I'm Mia Justice. I'm a soccer student athlete here at IMG Academy. My cousin Tim Howard won the Golden Glove 2009 FIFA Cup. Tim Howard again! Again, Tim Howard! One of the games of his distinguished career. Watching him from such a young age, like, you can hear him when you watch him on TV, and I, I've always wanted to be like that. You know, I've always wanted to be someone that my teammates can look up to on and off the field. So I think, use, you know, using my voice, it, it helps let everyone know that I'm there for them, on the pitch especially. I think it was 2011, and USA played Argentina. And that was probably my favorite game because I knew from then on that I knew that I wanted to be a goalkeeper. I couldn't have been more than four when I was playing soccer. I started, you know, a little rec league. Um, and then ever since then, I just fell in love with it. I love everything about it. Being at IMG is like being on a college campus. So being on a tight schedule and having to make smart decisions, it helps me know that I'm gonna be well prepared going into college. I know that my parents have sacrificed a lot, so that's kind of what motivates me to keep going, keep pushing, and then on the weekends we have off, I go home and I see them. Hey, what's up, how you doing? I always want to be a positive influence for you know the people I love, and I don't ever want to take. It. I just want to give, and so my focus is always to make sure that she can make massive decisions in her career and her life that she's surrounded by the right people. And thankfully, because I'm older, I've, I've seen a lot of good people and a lot of bad people, and uh, so just trying to help her navigate through some of that. You know, I think it's going to prepare me being able to speak to him about the certain pressure that he faces. Like it gives me confidence knowing that he can do it, and and we're so similar, I feel like, that I can do the same thing. Two things stand out for me in my career. It was always listen more than I speak, and to whom much is given, much is required. And she's been given a lot, and she has a, you know, she has a lot of talent, but that means there's a lot of responsibility and requirement there. As a goalkeeper, no matter what, even if she goes in as a freshman, she's going to be asked to be counted on and be a rock. Honestly, I don't know what you do, but what I see from him is how he reacts, kind of. And so I'm not going to give away my penalty kick, you know, because then everyone's going to know. But um, probably just light on my feet. You know, I think that's probably the biggest thing, reaction save. I mean, you're, they're 12 yards from the goal, so you can only do so much sometimes, you know. Patience is a huge thing for young girls. Uh, she's very much how I was at that age. I just want it all and I want it now. And um, there's a growth process that, has, that that is involved, and that basically means stumbling and failing and, and picking yourself back up. And so, being hard on yourself is important. But then there's also the other side of that coin is, is patience. And my one piece of advice that she that she already has in her locker is, is hard work. And I don't think there's any substitute for that one from, from a goalkeeping standpoint. So I don't even have to tell her that she knows that she has that in abundance. To hear him say that I could potentially be the greatest women's goalkeeper, it's flattering. It definitely gives me confidence and it makes me have self-belief, like knowing that I can do that. I just know that I, I could do it one day. My legacy, I think, you know, going to professional soccer, make the full team. Right now, that's my biggest goal. As far as legacy, I think I want to use that platform when and if I get there. Use that platform to really make a change in uh, equal pay. <laughs>